<laughs> Whoa. Is... Okay, that's a great way to start us off. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> My voice is also a little strained from yesterday, so <laughs> it's it's only it's only worse. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Let's, Let's do this. Start a new spinoff page. Okay. So you guys are in Carnifex, and at the moment you are watching Dare do a ridiculous amount of pull-ups after he ingested a nearly lethal <laughs> dose of uh, coffee, and the. The barista at the front desk is looking a little concerned, but uh, you guys earned your two bags of uh, coffee beans. Um, was it two? I thought it was three. Uh, it might have been three. Two bags. I thought it, either way, you got a lot of coffee from that. I'll, we got I'll, I'll review it and make sure, but yeah, you got a lot of coffee from that. Um, and shortly after, Dare and Lawrence head out to go shopping, and um, you end up staying with uh, Peel and um, I don't think Nuriel, no, Nuriel wasn't there. You end up staying with Peel and having a bit more coffee, and then, uh, yeah. Now Alrighty. it's up to you guys. I spoke in your guys' voices for that particular part of the session as well. That was interesting to try oh, and replicate. Oh, fun. So... So, uh, how, how would you do this voice, huh? Not well. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, hold on, let me get caught up in my notes. All right, caught up to what I had. All right. Um. So help if I do this. <laughs> no, absolutely not. It makes it actually much more stressful for me to get into what I want to do. Unless, you know, unless, you know, Max wants to help me out here, pal. What? I'm sorry. Help me out, man. I would, what? Because I, I wasn't there for the last spin-off, so I don't Neither was I. Yeah, both of you weren't. Oh, wait, why is Chrome not? Oh, <laughs> oh, threaten virus protection. Whoa! I've got the drawing glove on. Oh, fuck. I know. Oh, I should. Should I put mine on? Yeah. Gotta, All right. Gotta, See, what's interesting it. is this oh, isn't a drawing glove. Me. This is a yarn glove I've cut up. See? Oh, I can respect that. <laughs> oh, it looks extra fuzzy. Yeah, it's a little fuzzy. Uh, mine I got from when I bought my Huey on tablet. I see. Here's the die that everyone I... fears. Oh, you bastard. It hasn't been rolling that well, honestly. Which is mm. actually making me a little sad. Because, like, it's it, like... It ma it's making me nervous, because it's fucking biding its time. Yeah, it's like, okay, I'm about to do three crits in maybe, like, an episode. And then yeah, someone's like, gonna it, die. It's just, it's just waiting. It's Some, waiting. Yeah, someone's gonna die by like a baby ferret hydra because it's gonna crit like three times. Yeah, it, it's it's literally waiting for the most unappealing time to just start rolling crits. Yeah. Oh, you got the you got the copper spheres. Blonde, the copper ball. Yep. The copper testicle. Yeah. <laughs> the copper number <laughs> testicle. These are Enix, actually. <laughs> oh, no, fuck. No. I don't want that image. I don't need that image in my head. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Um, Nuriel. We should, we should do something with Nuriel. I don't know, though. I thought he left, though. Last place you saw Nuriel was at uh, Taxi Taxi in Carnifex. Mm-hmm. Um, with his homie uh Ka. Yeah. And uh Lawrence and Dare both said they were just going shopping. So. Mm. Okay. Well, might as well do the same. Uh Oh. Okay. Shopping. <laughs> there is I I 
I can give you guys a little no bit plan. of direction as soon as you get going. Yeah, but... direct us. Oh, direct you now? You haven't done? Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh... Give me something to work with. Okay. What to do right now. So. Step by step from <laughs> All right. So King's guard comes in into the coffee shop and he looks uh, quite beaten up and battered a little bit. Um, he's basically covered in blood. Um, there's what looks to be a finger caught in his uh, helmet that he's holding in his uh, other hand. And mm. uh, he talks to you guys. He says, uh, yeah, that uh, whatever you guys fought in the mines, that um, that sucks. We did tell you that. Yeah. That was yeah. kind of the worst. I mean, they said this job would be difficult defending the biggest city in Vestronis, <laughs> but or I, I guess Leonborn, it's technically Leonborn. But yeah, that sucked. Can we not? Can you not? Did you didn't create that, right? Like you no, guys didn't it, make that. No, uh, no. It made itself. Great. And I saw. I don't know if this is. These are supposed to be just legends, right? But like the golden masks. Is that like the Acro Prophet's return or whatever? Because that that uh, would really suck if that. Because that that was supposed to have died out a long time ago. Like, I thought we dealt I think, with that. I, I I think that was the demise of the Acker Prophets. Uh, I just, you know, I hope that was all of them, if, if that's the case. I, I hope so, too. Oh. Um, um, you... Uh, a weird question. Um, yeah. You, you wouldn't have happened to see a uh, 10, maybe 11 foot tall, half of a skeleton roaming around can't say as i've seen that no that's a really strange question but you said you prefaced Don't it with weird questions it. so i guess that makes sense <laughs> uh, if you haven't seen it be glad you haven't i think Don't worry about it <laughs> okay i have a feeling my job's gonna get more I've, difficult if you don't see it it won't yeah, and I'm not even done for the day. Like, I'm just taking a break, and then I gotta go deal with freaking. We got. We got electricity issues again. The. The center of town, as you know, I don't know if you've been here before, it's. It's Shock Rock. It's a Shock Rock um, generator, basically. And uh, we get frequent issues with it because of the amount of power that it creates. It draws in creatures that are drawn to power, so kind of sucks and there's been a recent uptick in the amount of creatures that we're getting um like we had these kind of centipede looking things attacking us before and it's well, just they, there's just been a lot more of them recently we we thought a few of them they right yeah yeah we've fought i think a few in the past yeah, I'm just hoping there's not, like, an infestation down there when I get down and, like, the new guys haven't been, like, slacking and just, like, not fighting them. Because, I mean, we have defenses, but, like, you're supposed to kill them before there gets to be too many. Um, they are... We, we have found they are weak to light, like the sun. Oh, really? These ones don't seem to be, but, I mean, I'll give it a shot. Maybe, maybe they're getting... Maybe they're, I don't know, evolving... But the last one we fought really didn't like the sun. I see. Like it burned in it or something? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hmm, I wonder how you knew that. Hmm. <laughs> okay, that's... Okay. Out of, out of character, that's a logical assumption to make, all right? Don't even. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, how'd you know? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't there, like, ferret... Things down there, right? Like, uh, like giant beetle shelves, maybe? No, nope, haven't seen any of that. Be I, glad you haven't. You, <laughs> you really guys seem to know way too much about monsters. Like, are you guys monster we hunters fought a or lot something? Of... No. Sadly, sort of. Unfortunately, we are now, but we weren't before. <laughs> Inter so you're monster hunters. Are you monster hunters for hire, per se? I mean, we're currently employed, so not at the moment. The payment, it, though. I mean, <laughs> I, I, mean, I guess. All for enough. 
I mean, we're just we're understaffed a bit, a little bit, underguarded. Mm. So if you wanted to, we could use the help, but it's it's up to you guys. I don't know ex like the state of it or if we'll need your help, but we could. Well, we'll think about it. Maybe I'll I'll go. Maybe I'll find my friends at some point, and we'll have a we'll have a chat about it. All right, sounds good. I'm gonna get my coffee. Very nice talking to you both. Mm -hmm. Enjoy con effects. I haven't seen you before, so I'm assuming you. Uh, it's my first time here in a very, very, very long time. I see. I see. And he, so it's changed a lot. He just orders the Carnifexian, which is effectively a drip coffee, and leaves. Fair enough. Gets it to go. Um, should we go? Should we have a look around, maybe? Yeah, we can look around a little bit. Maybe help them out at some point. I don't know. Yeah. Depending on how much they pay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pull up map of Carnifex real quick. I almost yeah, just typed. Too. I almost just typed map of Carnifex into Google like my story was popular or something. Like that's not. Oh my do god! It. Wow, <laughs> wow! I see. This whole this whole thing has gone to your head, my friend. Yeah, I almost just typed it into Google like it was gonna come up. Yeah, no, not quite. Wow. All right. I see. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big ass. Also, I just want to point out that's a big ass stable building. Yeah, it's for a lot of horses. Mm. Must stank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Where do they make their food? <laughs> I'm not <laughs> noticing many farms or whatever. <laughs> yeah. There's one farm. And there's imports Singular. as well. Yeah, there's one farm, singular. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just picking apart your cities, man. No, go for it, yeah. <laughs> mm. um. <clears throat> Was that one place that we were talking about last time? Um... Terrors is closed, right? Right. Yeah. I believe that's going to be... I have a theory, running theory, that that's going to be for the uh, the Halloween session. I literally said it, so it doesn't have to be a theory. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did. I forgot about that. I mentioned it, and then you confirmed it. Yeah. So. Oh. You know, whoop de doo <laughs> <laughs> So far, most of my predictions have been fairly accurate. Yeah. You're getting predictable, my friend. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really don't. A lot of their food, they also get through these do. imports as well. I believe that. Just casually making up story as you go. No, 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 no. That was in place before. <laughs> That's why there's all oh, those yo. docks. Oh, yo. Vistronis cake. Pastronis cake. What? Dope. Uh, I'm just I'm I'm looking through the uh, the tendrils chat from your birthday. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. I never said happy birthday. By the way, my bad. No, you're good. Damn, ter we're terrible friends. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> it's alright. We are. We're, we're oh, awful also, people. I got um all of the audios, all of the current audios that have been made are now on the YouTube channel. I know I saw you spammed my entire YouTube. Uh, oh, you have it on subscribe page. Oh, whoops! I didn't realize you had it on notifications. Yeah, they're all. Oh on no, there. I don't. <laughs> my phone went burn, burn, <laughs> burn. I did upload I like, them all in one. Yeah. <laughs> like what the fuck? What is all this shit? Uh. Ah. I want to go to. They appear to be recommended. Garmin tree. Yeah, Ayo. Grandiose garmentry? Yeah. 
Okay. Are you letting Max? Because I'm, I'm, I'm allowed to. I'm allowed to change up my character design because I can I can draw it whenever I want. Right. But if everyone else starts changing it when I'm not here, fuck all y'all. <laughs> we did a little. Just the thing uh, Grizz talked about. He did. Yeah, I know. So uh, you letting Azura know about this no. as well? Uh, yeah. We're just dipping yeah. out, just like later. <laughs> no. Uh, hey, Ave. Um. Oh, Azura. Who are Azura? Ma uh, Maeve. What the fuck? I'm Kevin. certain. Yeah, I've played Chris's campaign in a long time, man. I, I read the. I was reading your name on the uh, uh, Discord, and it was Maeve was right in the center, so it was like, Meh. yeah. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I saw this place called Grandiose Garmentry on the way here. Want to check it out? Yeah, I'm down to go. All right, so you walk over to Grandiose Garmentry, and it's just right across the way from Clockwork Beanery, so that's kind of nice. And uh, as you enter, you notice that both Lawrence and um, uh, Dara are in there as well. So, interesting choice. <laughs> and they're just kind of looking through clothing. And uh, I believe I put the document for that in the chat. I think it's been... Yes. It is. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna silently stare at Dare. Okay. <laughs> just wait for him to look at me. Uh, eventually he waves. He's like, "Hey." <laughs> no, like you know the bug-eyed stare, like the wide-eyed. Oh, like stare. that? Just like, just like deadpan face, just wide-eyed stare. <laughs> just to be a little bit of an asshole. <laughs> really? Okay. Oh. What is the point? What would be the point of that? Uh, to weird them out. <laughs> okay. Do you not do that to people? I don't do that to people. Not, not most You're of the time. You're strange for that. Okay, well, yeah, he just kind of tries to give you the same look back and it's like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm making some assumptions about Dare right now. Mm. You know, that's actually very Dare. He would do that. Make <laughs> look at me the same way, or either that, or flip me off. Like yeah. there is no in between. You do both. <laughs> you do both. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And eventually, you see him. He goes and he picks up uh, a cloak, and he also picks out a fedora, and he goes up to the front and talks with this dude at the front for uh, quite a while, and pulls out. One of those uh, Nevavold vertebra that you guys collected, and uh, talks to him about that for a bit, gives him all of them, and then uh, starts to leave along with Lawrence, who also had bought a few things. What is wrong with him? Yeah, he he just he just hands out monster parts, trades he really them does item. I I can see that working in a black market, but. In a fucking random <laughs> store in Carnifex. Like, Yo, you want this? Yo. Yo, you you want this random spine? You want it? I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Leather cargo tights. What the fuck? I was what? very tired when I made this. Okay, just like, just, just, just look at it. Okay. I looked at it. Purple wizard cape. <laughs> Mm. Oh, you wanna you wanna you wanna float like me? You wanna you wanna float like me? You can float for, for five hundred milliseconds. milliseconds. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited to get feet though. I want I want <laughs> I'm kind of excited to draw like the mechanical stuff. Mm. Like the the go the goggles that I got last time. Oh yeah. The four eyed goggles. Might, <laughs> yeah, I might I might mod them if I can, just to see, just to make them a little more useful for my two-eyed friend. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, the leather cargo tights. So you're looking at. <laughs> Yo, ghost in a suit. Ao. Perhaps, perhaps. <laughs> perhaps. Little dapper dead boy. 
<laughs> Should I get the edgy trench coat? That would be funny. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty interesting. I think I'd look pretty badass. And also, you guys got paid as well. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. How do we get paid? Does he just wire it to... Does he? Ha do we have an account that he wires the money to? No. I mean, <laughs> he, kinda? He sends, he sends someone to run... He ru sends someone to run across Vestronis just to hand us some gold. You know what happens actually is Demos, like, from the past, just, like, warps oh, it into your pockets and then is never seen. It's pretty cool. Mm. <laughs> he has to roll a he has to roll a stealth check with advantage every single time. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. That's I'll a, roll, that's a roll, four. I'll roll perception to counter. a four and a ten. I don't know what their stealth is at the moment. Wait, so probably level twenty. Well, level twenty uh, demos could probably just do it. To be completely honest, but that was a four and a ten. Why can't I? Why can't I roll on this site? Um, that's weird. I, their buttons weren't there for me to roll, but I'm logged into my account. That's weird. Garmetry is not a word in the dictionary. Okay, Grammarly. <laughs> oh, because I pressed view, not. But no, that should work. You don't need to work too hard on it. It's a theoretical role for someone that's. Oh well, no, the I want it in for later. Oh, okay. Because I found it weird for now. Right. But I can't roll. Let's see. Let's see how much damage Demos is gonna do upon warping inside of you. Oh fuck! <laughs> Instant death. <laughs> Probably. It'll be it'll be Rick and Morty all over again. Get telefragged. Oh wait, I need to look in DM chat to see that. I forget because I'm you know not level twenty. So. Wait, hold on a second. Ah. Eight D twelve. Let's do it. Oh god! Yeah, I die instantly. Maybe, actually. Maybe I'd survive AD, it. AD 12 plus 10, so you probably are going to die. Yeah, instant. <laughs> Death. What kind? Instant. There was no sound. You just died. <laughs> just dropped. Oh my gosh, D&D Beyond is so laggy. Might have been faster if I just rolled a single D12 12 times, or 8 times. Yeah, no, I, I just don't roll on D&D. I, I use a different website. It's so laggy. Yeah, I can't. I that's can't roll that's in... 71 damage. Hold on, let me fucking start something up. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's 71 damage, Ghost. <laughs> If I was level maybe 18, I would have survived it. Yep. I can't maybe they maybe D and D Beyond realized how shitty their dice roller was. <laughs> Perhaps. And they just took it away. Nobody gets to roll anymore. Maybe they just removed it for the time being while they fucking fix it. Yeah. It's so bad. I just used it for the Demos roll, but... Oh, alright. Then it's just me. Why is it just, just me? Don't use it because it's so bad. Yeah. I mean, go to wizards.com, but still. Alright, let's see if we can kill Azura <laughs> as well. Oh my god. <laughs> the onlookers see two bodies just drop. <laughs> two bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. 
61 or 71. No, oh, yeah, we both dropped. <laughs> Instant story campaign death. <laughs> Damn. What? And now my computer's frozen. Okay. You let it go. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, it's just... That's weird. Alright, whatever. Because it's just telling me what they do, and I'm like, I already know what they do. I want to roll the fucking dice. Well, I can roll for you as well. If you really need, but I imagine there's not going to be a ton of rolling. Yeah. Just in case, though. Mm hmm. So we left off, you were in the garmentry store as well, still. Yeah. Dandy we got total shit. Sorry, gremlin mode activated there for a moment. <laughs> Steve, is that you? Oh. <laughs> Steve's just... He's a Where? <laughs> Where is Steve, actually? He's in, uh, he's in... Isn't he just still at the house? That is a, yes. uh, Maeve's house? Did we abandon him at the house? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god. He got warped through time and... <laughs> Space. Wait, did yeah, did Steve I... get warped through time and space as well? Or no? No, Steve was just abandoned. Oh, yeah, you did say he got a little older. Oh. Wow. Maybe we just let him go. Maybe we just let him go live his own little life with his own adventures. Hey, yo, Steven campaign. Let's fucking do it. Steven endgame boss. Everyone just takes turns playing Steven. <laughs> yo, Steven... Endgame boss question mark? Yeah, that'd be crazy. That's All the main right. here, bad guy. <laughs> you bended me for the last time. Steven and Torin, same person. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna buy that trench coat because okay. fuck it. All right. Uh, anything else as well? Um, I mean, you look have like around. a ton of money as well, so. I am fucking rolling it. You're rolling for money? I'm rolling in money. Oh. I should have, yeah. Yep, got yeah, me there. I'm, I'm fucking Scrooge McDuck over here looking. <laughs> I think Azura has just a little bit more at the moment. Yep, you got 406, she has 424. Just 18 more than you. Tiny, tiny bit more. Here. Oh, I didn't, wait. How much do we get paid again? I was going to add my pay. You got 150. I already did it. Oh. 406. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you fucked up giving me this much power. <laughs> I know. I'm just really scared you guys are going to buy something like like the knuckle bones. I'm really tempted I'm gonna... to save up my money and do that, honestly. Yeah, I'm really tempted to just change it a little bit as well. <laughs> Max, let's pool our money so that yeah, we can buy whatever right the fuck now. we want. <laughs> let's go back to yeah. Wayborn. Do that right now. Let's go. Yeah, let's just How fucking do that now. How much did I make that's this now? That's what we're doing now. We want to pool our money. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, I'd let you do it. I mean, I put it there, so. Uh, let's see. Um, we do that when we're actually back in Windborn. How much did I make it? The knuckle bones are screaming. Scrying bones. 8,450. Close. Yes, no. Yo, imagine this dagger it. skirt, but it's like the belt of returning. Yeah, that would be pretty sweet. <laughs> just, you just fucking machine gun and knives. Pew, awesome. pew, 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 pew. 
Alright. Yeah, I changed the knuckle bone slightly. Do mm. you so could you theoretically climb with these Magnesis bracers? Up a metal so mountain. Magnetic bracers. And can you can you turn them off? Yeah. Okay. I might buy those as well. Because that's kind that might be useful for something. Although I do, f I mean, I can't really float up very high, but you know, climbing would be nice. Just tink, tink up the side of a fuck up the side of the Carnifex. Uh, <laughs> you probably the could. They're Carnifex metal. Power plant. They're metal, so yeah. Just, just tink. Tink. <laughs> what are you doing? Sir, get I'm down climbing, from there. motherfuckers. You're going to become the very first base jumper. <laughs> first and only, because you will hit the ground. <laughs> well, I guess you can float, so you might be fine. If I can stop myself in time. Yeah. I don't know how much propulsion you're putting out with those knot feet. I mean, it's not even... If I'm not really putting out any, but it's all theoretical. So I I like, see. you know how Omni Man flies? No. You know, have you watched? Uh, you gotta watch that. You have to watch Invincible. Like it is should. now your main priority for the weekend. Is it? <laughs> yeah. After the session. Okay. Yeah. After this session, you're watching Invincible. You don't have a choice. All right. I'll try. I'll maybe watch some. Uh, what is it? On? I don't know how I'll force you to do it, but I will. <laughs> Okay. They'll still figure out a way. Yeah, I always find a way. All right. All right, I'm going to pull the trench coats and these bracers off the shelf and coat hanger. Coat hanger? Whatever. If there is one, I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all on, like, weird-looking coat hangers. <laughs> it's just, like, these really weird, elaborate coat hangers. Yeah, it's like for... it's got, like, three hooks on the bottom and then, like, one on the top. What's it's this really middle strange. hook for? Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> I Jeez, don't want to know. It's holding it perfectly, though. It's holding all the stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, so you go up to the front desk and are uh, greeted by this dude. Uh... Hi, so is that all your uh, good thing today? Yeah. Perfect, yes. perfect. And uh, it, you're sure there's nothing else? Um, Yeah. Okay, okay. Sorry. I just it's been okay. a bit of a slow day. Oh. Well, I I saw my friends came through here. I'm sure they Oh, they did the uh the bear? Yeah, the bear and the uh the guy that was accompanying him. Oh, very the kinda, good. The very redheads. Nice. I haven't seen yeah. any of you here before, so I can assume uh it's your first time trying to fix? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Well, I hope to uh receive much more business from you. Shh. Maybe, if we're still here. <laughs> you sound very hesitant, but that's okay. I will make sure to uh, stock with better items. No, I, I think the items you have here are pretty good. <laughs> I see. All right. Um, okay. The entire conversation, I did not make a single bit of eye contact. Oh, yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> And let's see. Most conversations, I don't make eye contact. <laughs> so you spent 34 <laughs> and 45. Okay. Uh, that's what? Uh, bad at math. I don't know. 79. Oh, gross. You spent the big bucks over there. I spent a lot of money. This is, I think that's the most money I've spent in a while. Yeah, like, you spent that, uh, what did you spend, 90 on lifespan? I think that's yeah. the most you've spent. And that's the, it's literally been the most useful weapon I have in my yep, arsenal. Yep, yep. Alright, Azura, are you getting anything? Uh, no. No? Okay. Uh, did you, did you do it, or? Oh, I didn't do it, I can, though. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because your thing is oh, being right. screwed. Yeah, my thing is fucking stupid right now. It's having a fucking hissy fit three times over. At least I can still take and add damage or whatever. Okay, I got that for you, though. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Very kind. <laughs> I need to refresh. I don't want to refresh, but I should. 
I don't want to see so what's happened. The, uh, I don't want to. I don't. Maybe, maybe it'll fix it if I refresh. So we'll just do it. Maybe. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I just got a an achievement on Halo because my cousins are in the other room playing Halo. <laughs> <laughs> it just like showed up on the screen. Which one? Uh, Which looks Halo to be Halo play? Four is what they're playing right now. They should play Halo uh, ODST. Best one. Yeah, it's uh, the hey, Master yeah, Chief the... collection, so I have them all. Oh, yo. Uh-huh. Well, the um, ODST is DLC. You have to buy it. Yeah, no, I, I spent $20 on... There was, like, a really good sale, and I got all the DLC. Ooh, nice. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, right. ODST is my favorite game. Mm-hmm. I think my favorite's probably Reach, but I haven't really mm-hmm. played through ODST that much, so I don't know. Give it a play. I will. Whenever you feel like it. All right, so Zane, after, after you after you watch Invincible, obviously. <laughs> of course, of course. After I watch Invincible, sure. I still need to finish the Progress Denverland as well. I watched three episodes like three months ago, mm. and that's the extent of it. Well, I mean, <laughs> I didn't really find it very entertaining. So, dang, I liked it so far, except when I started that I didn't know it was horror. So, oh yeah, that's kind of <laughs> that'll throw throw you for a loop. Like interesting. <laughs> Yeah. Oh like god, D and D Beyond is having a, a, a fit. No, please. You don't please respond, man. <laughs> troublesome D and D site. Yeah. Or right, troublesome computer. The site is I think running fine for everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> well the dice rolling is still kinda bad. Yeah, it, it but that dice rolling is scuffed regardless. Mm-hmm. It's scuffed at all times. Yeah. Oh man, I think you're carrying the least. You're only holding 59 pounds, Ghost. Wow. Not bad. Yeah, I don't really carry much. <laughs> mm-hmm. Alright, so is there anywhere else in Carnifex you guys would like to go? Um. Well. Let's see here. Wagyu wares? I forgot what type of shop that was. Um, it was... Oh god, no, not that <laughs> one again. <laughs> it was just random wares that these, um... The new it race the, that I made, the Wagwus, were selling stuff yeah, there. Yeah, the, the so wagyu like, because they... <laughs> so, like, ooh-woo. teeth, and I think they had pillows. They had a lot of they random sold, things. They sold their own body parts. Kinda, yeah. What? There was a wagyu tail. There was. Not go there. There was. No, I'm it wasn't sure a tail of there. It's a clockwork tail. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, regardless, there there was they were selling body parts. They were. But they're just so cute. You can You have to. Yeah, but, they peer pressured me into buying more than I wanted to. Yeah, that that was that their purpose. So... I'm so... well aware of that. I mean, normal me would have said no, but you know, gotta be in character. <laughs> Ghost just can't handle the peer pressure. <laughs> no, it's a char- it's a literal critical flaw. <laughs> it's either he'll cripple under the peer pressure, or he'll just follow along. You know, it's funny. I I talked to, I think it was just dylan about the wagus and i wanted to see whether he hated them or loved them i think that's the like that's the thing is like you either hate the wagus or you actually like really love the wagus and it's been split down the middle so far Mm. i want to head over there oh you do okay that's that's the next stop no not again (laughs) no (laughs) it's funny because you guys are like just there too yeah so as you enter, um, you can see it is a much more, you know, cluttered building than everywhere else. And all three of them are just sitting at a table and they're kind of just working on a couple different gadgets and things. I'm just going to hide in my new trench coat. Just like, <laughs> you don't, you don't see me. Just like pulling the collar like up. Just like, just like hi. No, it, it's like, you know how you, when you put a, like a jacket on, you can like kind of go all the way up. And have it like all the way up over your shoulders. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. It's and just have the coat like r- kind of closed in front of my eyes. 
<laughs> you don't see me. I already spent a lot of money here, and I don't want to spend any more. They wave back. Hello. <laughs> this right now. <laughs> and that's the thing ghost bought that's in red i think i bought two things there did you no i think i only bought one yeah. i got i got the goggles right yeah he bought the most expensive item <laughs> i know <laughs> i know <laughs> i mean i was eyeing them already but yeah. still it was the solution to the clockworks fear you bought so yeah, that is pretty nice. It's actually a stupid useful. So mm -hmm. I'm glad to have it. Yes. Especially after, you know, how our party spl splits up a lot. Oh, yeah, they do. So, and if Dare's not around, <laughs> I'm the, the next up in healing. Yep. Wait, you can, what, what healing can you do? Uh, well, if my, I have my D and D Beyond site black screen, but if you look at my spells, I think I have healing hands and um, spare from dying. No, oh, you have cure wounds and spare the dying. Yeah, yeah, cure wounds. Nice. And spare the dying. Yeah. So, if anyone dies, no, I say no. No dying, not allowed. What's nice though is cure wounds doesn't take uh one of my spell slots though, so I can use it. Oh, it's just nice. at will. That's cool. There's no price for the venom vial. How much is that? There's not. Oh god. That is also the Forgot. issue. That's also the issue with me making these like two. <laughs> There's not a price for the fang either. Interesting. Ooh, I could have bought. <laughs> I could have <laughs> bought that the yesterday vial. for free. Let's make that thirty-six. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get the venom vial and soup. <laughs> the soup. Soup. <laughs> soup. soup. So yeah. they seem. Where are you? I'm at the soup store. <laughs> yeah, they Why hand you the you soup, and it's shopping this. Shopping for clothes uh... at the soup store. Sorry. <laughs> it's this purple, like really weird looking purple sparkly liquid. Looks like there's glitter in it. Um, yeah. and you drink That's it. That's why it's poisonous. And it does, it does taste, or actually, do you drink it? I guess. Yeah, I think I taste it. Yeah, it tastes really it's... good. It's like the best soup you've had in a while, but you cannot determine any distinct flavor, like of what it tasted like. Like your brain goes to imagine that there's a flavor, and it's like, ah, there's uh, error. There's no flavor, a but it tastes error, good. Flavor not found. <laughs> <laughs> flavor error 404 flavor not found yeah interesting mm -hmm. i'll eat the rest i'm sure it's fine yep same sort of thing you cannot discern what the flavor is but it tastes good you die instantly <laughs> well, it tastes good. and uh they hand you the the venom vial as well and say just be careful to you know not use this on someone you you like you know if it, we don't know what, exactly what it does, so whenever you, uh, if you stab someone with it, you, there's no telling what could happen. Okay, that's that's what that's what we don't buy people all the time. Oh, all the time. That is the only reason that we don't. But, but you I kind of I kind of float back out the door. <laughs> <laughs> Later. <laughs> <laughs> but I, it's like just I the guess. hands up just like slowly backing out the door <laughs> are, you, are you going to buy anything oh, else i added that oh uh, no i think and you're sure you're very sure whoa my fell. oh god oh that was pleasant it went bonk <laughs> yeah. well it more sounded like a hollow thud that's all you're buying? Yeah. Because there was a bigger person than me. Than me. Yeah, not so swayed by peer pressure. <laughs> peer pressure. <laughs> I bought two things. They're fine. <laughs> I'm surprised anyone bought the soup. 
What does it do? Does it not do anything? Is it just soup? Uh, I can hear out. you. Oh, great. <laughs> well, in like 24 hours, you'll be shitting out of your ass. <laughs> I mean, that's just a normal occurrence, but no. <laughs> Projectile shitting. Oh, great. Okay. Um... <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks. Thanks. It's a good thing I'm, I don't edit the spinoffs. So that's awesome. No, no one. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. You're not getting anything here, Ghost, I'm assuming? No. <laughs> okay. Not this time. I spent a lot of money already. You did. You spent quite a bit of money there. Let's see. I'll wait till next payday to start actually spending again. That sounds good. Or proper big spends. Oh, I did not mean to do that. What did you do? Nothing. Did you break something? No. Are you sure? <laughs> very no. sure. <laughs> I would have laughed if you said no. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Uh, where else should we go, actually? Oh, you know what? I want to... Actually, it's no. It's only been maybe a few hours since I uh, commissioned the feat. Or since he offered. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it has not been that long in game time. Yeah. In real life, it's been, you know, a week. But You know, I did something really kind of stupid recently. I was talking about the weather and the seasons with someone. And instead of yeah. being like... Oh, winter's coming up because, you know, it is. I I was like in my head, oh, so it, it's winter in, uh, it was just winter in Vistronis, so naturally it's going to be spring next. And I said, oh yeah, spring's coming up, just to a person in real life. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh God. It's really not. It's really not, no. It's really not. But, oh well. Was it really just winter in Vistronis though? I thought winter. I thought Vistronis was pretty cold year round. It is, but yeah, it was just winter. Mm. So then it was fucking frigid. Mm -hmm. Very cold when Vistronis you first got here. Just wandering around in the cold with like <laughs> it's a, a robe. Top. Yeah. Oh yeah, the tank top. That's right. Oh yo, I should. I should. I should draw everyone in like winter outfit. I mean, not really dare because he's he's pretty good on that. Bear. He's Front. a bear. <laughs> I imagine I have to layer up pretty good because, you know, I'm right. dead and all that. Oh, I did apply that soup effect. So if you can see, if you want to try and find it, you can. Oh, oh why? There was, there was an effect, yeah. Oh, God. What did it do? Oh. It's kind of hard to find. So. Good luck. I feel like I'm going to just, like, Bro, why is D and D beyond black screening? Stop it! God dang! Get some help. You were just working three seconds ago. Calm down. Ah, uh, yes. Internet boy tells a site to calm down. Oh, it just added a mirror to the cold. Mm hmm Not permanent, but... Interesting. I don't reload the page to find it, but... Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
but I can do dice rolls again, so that's interesting. Should we go next? I don't know. I'm talking to myself. There's nowhere you can't go, really, except for Trinkets and Terrace. It is just closed. Yeah. I mean, you could break in, but... I refuse. I don't want to get arrested. <laughs> as funny as it would be, I don't want to get arrested. It would be pretty funny, though. Mm-hmm. Hmm. No. <laughs> you got that stuck in my head. <laughs> Which I don't know how it's possible because it's not like catchy. Really? No. But it is the Pink Panther, though. So mm -hmm. it's always Poggers. Um, I kind of want to go investigate those uh, two houses right in front of the abandoned mines. Oh, okay. Just yeah, like the two that. right in front of it. Sure. So, you head out of Wagluwares. I mean, you were already nearly out anyways. <laughs> yeah. But, um... uh, I'm going to... Hmm? I'm going to, like, kind of motion to Azura that I'm leaving. Farewell. So long. <laughs> right. And uh, you pass by Trinkets and Terrors and the Carnifex Library and the Salvage Store and everything. And you cross the little bridge, and um, at that point you can see there's a little water wheel right next to the Capitol building that uh, the stream runs into. It seems like it's helping to like cool whatever is in the building itself. Where are you putting me? Hold up. By the Carnifex Library. Oh. That's the quickest oh, route. No. Oh. oh my it god. Fell again. That's just not a good spot. I, for it. I noticed. Your boom arm is pretty, pretty stinky. Not gonna lie. Scared the shit out of me. I don't wear it's it's pretty straight shot. So you'd be passing by Dalve and then heading straight to the other area. Oh, no, 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 not that mine. The ones that... Wait, where is the... Oh, that's the abandoned mine? Yeah. Oh, where are you going? Oh. I thought... Because there's two on the there's map. There's two passageways into it, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, I might as well go to these ones. <laughs> so you make your way towards those buildings, and immediately you can kind of determine what they are. They are, All right. it looks like they're meant for storage of, like, things to go into the mines with, like there's pickaxes and things. Oh yeah, that's immediately sus. And they're open, but they look very, um, like, derelict, like they haven't been used in a while, but at the same time, the lock on the front of both of them is busted. Hmm. So, like, there was a chain with a lock on it, like, locking them up, Yeah. the, the door's open, it's busted, it's broken into. Obviously. Yeah, people have been in there recently. Uh-huh. Um, I'm going to cautiously approach, because I don't know if anyone's home. Can I... I'll actually make a perception check just to... 
Okay. Play the game. You know, play the video game. <laughs> right. All right, what do we got? Oh, I thought it's the other one. Uh, if mine takes too long, just do it for me. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's a pretty good roll. You'd like that if yours doesn't roll. Um, I mean, you got a 21, so you want to roll with that? Or... Yeah, I'll roll with the 21, because okay. my D&D Beyond has not, still hasn't. I clicked it. All right. So at as soon as you enter the, let's say you're entering the leftmost house, the closest one to Dalv. I find okay. Um, yeah, that works. You notice just barely this little uh, trap on the ground, and it looks like some sort of modified bear trap looking thing. And oh um, yeah, it would have. And I see more. Grabbed your leg. Yeah, you can see about three scattered throughout the thing. And um, you don't see that anyone's home. You see a lot of cobwebs, but also you see a spot of like dust is missing where several things have been taken off of a table. Okay. Also, those bear traps, are they motion activated or step activated? Uh, you can't seem to discern at the moment, but it looks like step right. activated. Well, then that shouldn't be a problem. Um, <laughs> you know, lack of feet and all. Right. Um, I am still going to give them a little bit of a wider berth, but mm -hmm. pretty much keep going towards the building. Can I see any more traps and maybe traps on the door? Well, the door is open, right? Yeah, you don't see anything on the door. Um, on the table, you can see a few um, daggers, not like those ornamental ones that the Acro Prophets had, just kind of normal daggers. And you see a few pieces mm. of shot rock and what looks to be uh, Latinicus, which is the reflective mineral that is also was mined here in the past. Um, roll. I'm going to roll an Arcana check, actually. If it, No, that's... I'm just going to do it on this shit. Uh, plus four. We do an Arcana perception. Uh, Arcana. Okay. You do have advantage on Arcana as well. I do. And add the plus four as well. Oh, if right. If you're rolling yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, that's not great. That's better. All right, so nine plus four, 13. Okay, that, will, that should be fine. Yeah, so you can definitely tell that it is, in fact, Shock Rock and Latinicus because well, of uh, the way that... I was rolling a general arcana. Oh, just, just on everything? A, for the room. For the yeah. room, you can't... Um, you don't discern any magical energy coming from the room itself. Uh, the only magical energy is, again, the two rocks, and um, that's about it. Okay, so no other items in the room are right. fairly magical. All right. Uh, or at least that I can discern. Right. Um, uh, oh, well. Do with my previous perception, do I see, is there anything else that I could see if you want to uh, use that one or um, re-roll? Now that you're fully Other inside the... the building, um, you can see just barely because of how high you rolled on the perception. You do see uh, a few footprints on All the right. ground, you know, because it was very dusty in there before, but that's okay. it. Um, oh. So if it wasn't clear before, oh, someone definitely did break in. <laughs> okay. Are there any... Uh, is Does the room look weirdly small? Like, does, is there any secret rooms that I... Mm. Like, any scratches on the floor that would mark any secret rooms or anything doesn't look anything like that no you don't see any uh spots on the wall like look like pressure plates or anything like that oh okay so no markings on the floor of like mm -hmm. things sliding to open okay got you nope. um all right uh i'm gonna take that piece of shock rock and uh maybe that dagger all right Perfect. Don't know what it might be handy for, but who knows? All right. You pick it up. Just a normal dagger. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. You did say it was normal, but... No stabbing this time. <laughs> <laughs> Little shits fought back. 
<laughs> last time you picked up a dagger. Not not so great vibes. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna make my way to the second building. I'm gonna roll another perception on that just to just to make sure I'm safe. <laughs> Uh, 19. 19. Um, in this one, you don't um, see those bear traps this time. There aren't any. And okay. um, you can see a very similar scene has played out. The lock on the door is busted. Again, the door is opened. Um, and you can see someone's been in and out of this one quite a lot, actually. Like, mm. there's not like dust everywhere because it's been used it looks like and okay. there is hmm, I'm trying to think what actually would be there there are a couple um just kind of adventuring gear supplies basically there's a couple daggers again like before there is a little short sword in the corner um, there's actually a grindstone in here as well, mm. and weird also, for a mining shack. I know, right? And there's also a little bed in uh, the corner as well. Um, I'm gonna do a quick Arcana check again. Uh, <laughs> oh hell yeah, motherfucker! You did not. Uh, my two rolls. What one of them was a 19, the other was a 23. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nineteen plus four. <laughs> Jesus. All right. So you can definitely tell that something magical has been here, but that there mm. hasn't. There's no magical energy uh, that's currently here. Okay. You can tell like there's um, kind of remnants, I guess. Okay. Does it give me a direction? Does it point me anywhere? Doesn't really point you anywhere. You can just tell that something here has been magical okay um is there any storage crates boxes um, anything that has yeah, let's say there's a little storage chest kind of uh next to the sleeping bag itself all right i'm it's gonna give a that a little lamp give that an open moment all right uh go ahead and make a strength check if you're doing that like barehanded Oh, it's locked? Mm -hmm. It's oh, just like okay. a, a sealed crate. Oh, it's sealed. Um, can I try and pry it open with one of the daggers that I have? I like, believe you just have a to crowbar pry at the edge? one of your uh, packs, too, don't you? Uh, no, I don't have a crowbar. Oh, That's my other oh, right, character. Right, right. Okay, yeah, you can. You can try with the okay. dagger. I'm just going to, like, I'm trying to pick at the seal. Yeah, so just add... Just go ahead and negate your strength okay. debuff for that, since you have, like, leverage. All right, so then I'll just roll a d20. Yeah. Hello. Oh, hello. Surprise. Uh, Thought you weren't going to be able to make it today. I think I done early. Dang. That's cool. Wait, what did I... Ghost I'm is exploring a mine house. Oh, fun. I am going to be here to chill and listen. So I just got food. Are we doing that? Uh, I can roll for you too if a, you want. Oh, okay. Does a 13 do anything? That just does it, yeah. Oh, nice. All right. Um, On the inside of the crate, uh, you can see a lot of journals. You see stacks Ooh. and stacks of these journals. And you can also see a few... Uh, Pens as well. Okay. There's actually a letter opener in there too. Oh, nice. <laughs> Mine. <No>. Um, <laughs> I wanna, I wanna open one of the journals. All right. <laughs> uh, does it? Okay. So, inside the journal. Actually. Mm -hmm. What? Do you want me to save you some? <laughs> no you're good all right, all right you can open up the journal that's totally fine um okay just trying to think if it could be yeah that's what i was that's what i was no, thinking I, about i, I, I know the save people, you i know the people it could be but i just mm, okay I'm trying to think here all right 
Dare's diary. <laughs> Dare's diary. Uh, yeah, that would be very concerning. That would be really diary. weird. Yeah. Um. In the first one that you open, on the very first page, um. Get my notes ready. <laughs> How about how about we take a little break because I have to use the bathroom. Okay, cool, and I can think about that yeah. because there's a variety yeah. of things that could be. All right, I'm going to be right back. Okay. Well, the, their spinoff is so so far from what I've heard for the last like, minute sounds somewhat story intensive. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, ours was like <laughs> the place he's going. Ours was like clothes and fighting. <laughs> mm-hmm. How you doing, Max? Eating chips. I'm nice. Just staring at my computer. <laughs> I got Wendy's. Max, when the um, uh, I got spicy nugs, right, and nice. this like hamburger that's like a barbecue bourbon hamburger or something. I don't know. Spicy nuggets are great. Yeah. Whenever me and Lawrence's spinoff comes out, you gotta watch it. It's 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 <laughs> so um, stupid. It's so stupid the whole time. There's nothing serious <laughs> in the whole thing. Yeah, it's kind of a comedy episode. To be completely honest. Pretty much. It's literally. I'm pretty sure the name we came up was Clothes and Bros. Yep, that's the one I told them. Clothes and bros. I told them about it, yeah. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I had a thing. It was supposed to get done at like six, but it got done right now. Or like a, like a couple minutes ago, so. Got done faster than I thought it was going to get done. My spicy nuggets are gone. I'm sad. I've returned. All right. So... The ghost. Oh my god! <laughs> You're very loud. <laughs> In the first oh, journal, I, I, you yeah, see. Go ahead. I can turn um, you down. A name, and it's spelled Serac, is what, how it looks to be said. C E R R A K. E R A K. Okay. And the second journal that you open up has the name Levi in it. Hmm. And... Oh, <laughs> the oh my God. first journal, the one titled Serac, is talking about, it says specifically, the usurper has arrived in Carnifex. We will be eliminating this threat. Um, and Levi's journal um, details specifically how she had gone into the mines of Carnifex previously and had found this group called the Acro Prophets, who possibly could find more about Nexus. And she mentions specifically that it seems like they were well intentioned. <laughs> <laughs> Albeit a bit strange. Uh the rest of the journals are blank. Uh oh, that's the rest of the pages or the rest of the books? Uh the rest of the books. Because okay. there was like six in there. So. Okay. Um you said there were what else in the crate again? There was a letter opener, and on top of the crate there was a lantern. Okay. Uh, so, a few journals and two that were actually in use. Okay. Right. And I may make okay, those. Okay. We'll see. Mark that down. 
do not know how to spell journals. Uh, you are. I'll go with my guy. I'm going to take Serac's journal and Levi's journal. All right. Sounds good. I expected as much. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, the dogs are barking up a storm out there. All right, that should be that should be fine. Um, I can always rewatch this later to get the exact. Right. Okay. Um. Or you can ask me questions about it too. Uh. Actually, yeah. Uh, were the was the rest of the journals blank, or like the rest of the two journals were they blank, or um, a just lot of miscellaneous? it was just miscellaneous stuff about like arriving in Carnifex and the events preceding entering the mines right. and meeting the Acro Prophets for Levi, and the one titled Serac. That's mostly what it was about, and the rest okay. of it is pretty blank. All right, I'll probably have a read through the rest of it later, mm -hmm. so that I can force you to do make more lore. <laughs> um, even if you said it was miscellaneous, there's always information in miscellaneous. Mm -hmm. um, you said this place has been in and out. Yes, like people have been in and out pretty frequently. Mm -hmm. um, is there any indication on how recently someone's been in and out? That I can discern. Well, from my previous <laughs> perception, mm, if you'll take I'm it, I'm trying to think of what would actually help you discern that. Though is the only thing. Um, um the like micro buildup of dust or <laughs> whatever. All right, you a did roll calendar. Well. There's no calendar, but War something's warm that shouldn't be like a. A cup or a plate. Hmm. That's usually how. Let's say. Hmm. Oh yeah, this will work. The when you picked it up, the shock rock was still vibrating uh, a little bit faintly because someone had touched it. Okay, so it. I don't really know the time of shock rock. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, so we'll just say maybe really, really recently within like the past day. Yes. That's what I'm going to discern. <laughs> That'd be a fair assumption. All right. So are you done in the two mining building? I'm writing stuff down. Okay. Okay. Um how about we how about we cut over to Azura? All right. Cuz it's been a while since she's had anything. That seems good. Yeah, I'm just thinking what I want to do. I need to mull over all this stuff anyways. <laughs> um I'm going to find that guard actually, the one who told us about the um infestation. All right. Um, go ahead and roll an investigation in order to find that dude. Because it's a big town. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's an eight. An eight? Okay. Um, you basically, you kind of make your way towards the capital because that's where you see, like, the most guards in general. Um, you don't seem to find that dude in particular, but there's, like, Ten other guards, at least, around the Capitol building. Is there any that look, like, more important than the others? <laughs> like... <laughs> um, yeah, so at all of the sides of all of the entrances to the Capitol building, there are these guys in silver armor instead of uh, gold. And um, they look maybe a bit more important. Okay, you don't know really the hierarchy, but... 
That's I'll, what you assume. I'll approach one of them. Um. God, I have to do Azura's voice. <laughs> did, did the guard ever give us a name? He did not. Just... Okay. Um. Hi, I. I heard that you guys have a bit of a centipede in the infestation, like at the. How how is it palatal? Um. Yes, we do. It should be under control. Um, why do you ask? Well, I just, um, one of your gods mentioned it to me and, you know, said if you guys need help that I could help. I see. I, I don't know. Um, checking to see if it was under control. You know, I don't know you, but can the only thing is we don't want anyone screwing with the power plants themselves i mean we get things that attack it but if you really want to check it out i could accompany you down into the uh power plant oh uh, yeah yeah you could do that mm. all right give me one minute i'll have to find someone else to stand at my post and he heads inside and then uh brings out this other guy who's just maybe a foot shorter <laughs> and um you guys walk into this kind of huge building and you can see a lot of different pipes and things that seem to be routing water down below and you can also see um there's a throne room off to your right and um it looks like that's where the king would be and um let's see what else would be in there the whole area is kind of filled with this blue light as well and on the inside the the lights on the ceiling are actually this different material than is usually used the lights are latinicus which has a, a reflective property so it's reflecting all of that blue light kind of everywhere and it's a very um lavish and uh, very well decorated interior as well but you guys make your way towards the back of the building into this elevator and it doesn't look quite as pretty um there's quite a bit of this gooey black stuff all over it which you can kind of recognize since you like taking notes on monsters and stuff you recognize this as like insect blood or you know abomination blood whatever you would call what you were fighting mm -hmm. um and he presses this button and a loud uh, chime rings out. And uh, the elevator comes up, the grate opens, and he motions for you to step inside. Okay. And uh, you guys get in the elevator, uh, the grate shuts behind you, and the elevator itself is actually fairly armored. Like it's a very chunky looking elevator <laughs> once you get in. And it is in fact playing some elevator music. And it's a little bit, it, it takes quite a while to actually get down there. Uh, it's a little bit awkward. You're just kind of like chilling and it's just playing this calming elevator music as you're going down. I feel like it's just a setup for like a horror movie. <laughs> the, the door is just going to open and we're just going to get rushed by them. <laughs> yeah. Um, you open the door and um, you're greeted by this um, metal passageway. And you take a left, and you are in this kind of open area. There's a lot of exposed rock, but you're underground, basically. In the center, there's this giant uh, blue uh, piece of shock rock, and it's connected to a bunch of different, um, looks like stabilizers. But at the same time, they're, they're holding it in place, but also some of them are shaking the hell out of it as well. And it's just multiplying that shaking by like a hundred times to create the power basically and the pipes that you saw above are connecting and cooling the crystal as it vibrates and just below and to the sides of the crystal are these massive um kind of walls that are kind of um, protecting it and just outside of that you can see there are a couple of little centipedes trying to make their way, trying to break through the wall, and they're being uh, 
shot at with bows and arrows and magic and all that type of stuff. So, as you can see, it's mostly under control down here, but we've had a recent, uh, there's a lot more recently, and uh, it's kind of getting to be a pain. We've had to divert a lot more to just dealing with this. Um, but if you wanted to help, you could, you know. Okay, um, do you have any idea where they're coming from? Because those look like babies. There, there has to be some sort of source for them. That, that does not, if there's a queen, that would, um, that would be terrifying. Uh, you may be correct about that, but I really, we haven't seen anything bigger than say, I don't know, 10 feet, so, I mean, they're pretty large already. Luckily, we're, I mean, we're pretty well equipped. Um, we did have one breakthrough, and that's why, and he gestures over to a specific side of the crystal. It's a little bit, just a small bit cracked. I mean, it looks pretty tough, but still, it's just a little cracked on the side. We had one break-in, uh, we fixed it pretty quickly, but, uh, yeah, not too good, because this entire town runs off of that power, specifically. So, if you wanted to, I mean, we could always use new people. There's pretty regimented hiring process, but it's up to you. Oh, there's like a full process, but... A little I'll bit, yeah. I... I don't think I want to go through a full process. It's... You know, I have another job, and it's... I think your word they're looking for, or you're looking for, is freelance. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, if you wanted to take some target practice, at the very least, I'd let you. We can go up to the uh, the upper ring. Okay. Let's... I could do that. And I... All right, so you step into a second elevator that gets you to kind of you're right next to the crystal at this point. It's a kind of a walkway that surrounds the crystal, and the, there's walls on the sides of it. But there's little spots in the wall for you to uh, shoot through. And you see it's kind of kind of terrifying. You can see a ton of these um, centipedes just launching themselves at the wall. And um, you notice the a little bit of a difference between the quote-unquote trainipede and these ones. These ones have little spines growing out of them that are conducting electricity for whatever reason, and they also have little dragonfly wings on the very back segment of them. Okay. It's not, not quite the same thing. Not quite the same thing. That's a lot of them. I, I feel like what you guys are doing is a bit... That's what I'm looking for. Like, re repetitive. Why, why not just go for the source? They have to come from something. I mean, we haven't tried that yet, and the orders from the king are just to hold them off. I feel like that's a bit... If, if you go for the source, there won't be any to hold off. The, they'll be gone. Right. I mean, a lot of them tend to come through the ground as well, so we can't- it's it's hard to determine where the source is coming from. But if you wanted- I- I'm sure if you talked with the king, he'd pay you quite a bit to actually find and destroy the source. I mean, well, if, if he's willing to pay me, I'd be more than willing to. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm sure he'd pay you pretty well. We haven't but... had really- uh, adventurers, I guess, or freelancers in this town in a while, so... I mean, last people we had dealt with were, um, what's his name? What's that, uh, do you know that kobold, uh, Grande? No. You do. <laughs> but... Do yeah, from the Raven's Mantle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that tiny yeah, little no, dude. Yeah, I don't remember him at all. He keeps stealing his coffee. Oh, that one. That one. Or at least okay. Ghost keeps stealing his coffee. And you guys I'm, know We are replenishing his coffee supply. Yeah, so I know. It's, okay. it's totally okay. I just think it's hilarious. 
I actually, I, I work with him. Um, oh, very nice. Windborn. Uh, where exactly? Um. <laughs> just, you know, we, it's like a little gang, almost, but like for freelancers. It's, I not really have see. Anything. That's really kind of odd, but all right, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, if, I'm sure if you talk to the king, he would, uh, give you that job. Although, then, I don't know if it's something you'd want to do alone or not. Um, probably not. I mean, is it an easy way to talk to the king? I mean, yeah, he's right in the throne room. I could take you to him if you want. I do need to take all of your weapons, though, if you're going to approach. I mean, you'll get him back after your, you know, okay. visit with yeah. him, but... Yeah. Visit with him. Job. I'll take All out right. my daggers and hand over my quarter staff. Okay. Um, I would recommend you hold on to those until we exit uh, the the underground portion here. It's just we don't want if one of them happens to break through. I don't want you to be a liability. So let's we'll That's get in the elevator good. first, and uh, you guys make your way down. Both uh, you make your way down the elevator for the you know the crystal and uh, get in the elevator going up back into the main part of the Capitol building. And again, that same, you know, nice elevator music after seeing all of the horrifying uh, centipedes down below. They're, you know, 10 feet long. Not great. Um, and you exit and he kind of gestures into this little, there's this closet. And he takes, starts to take all of your weapons um, he doesn't actually take that belt of returning, just um, the daggers and all, everything else. And he tries to take that um, quarterstaff you have, but you find yourself, like, once you have it in your hand, you're not really able to let it go. Oh. And he doesn't really understand this. Like, hey, uh, could you let go of that? Um, no. What I... do you... What do you mean? It kind of just won't go. Huh. Um, that's... Is and there... then as he's saying that, the dagger... Or not the, the dagger. The quarterstaff actually splits into a million different pieces and kind of just isn't there anymore. What? That's really strange. It's um new. I hope I didn't do that. I don't... I honestly... I... I don't know what happened. Um, sure, it's fine. Alright. Um, okay, I guess... I'll, I'll just keep an eye on you. That That's really kind of strange. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Alright, and uh, you approach the throne room. Let me find the king real quick. Need to remember. I do, I need to remember a voice for him. Actually, is what I need to remember. Hmm. Okay. So you approach the throne room, and you see this guy. He's wearing this silver crown, and it's studded with these uh, blue crystals. And the throne itself is also silver, and it's adorned with, you know, multicolored uh, crystals as well. It's very elaborate and lavish uh, for a throne. And um, you notice it's not, like, up on a pedestal or anything. It's kind of just at the same level that you're at. And when you approach, he actually he gets out of his chair and reaches out to shake your hand. That's not, wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I was expecting him to be rude. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Hi I'm sir. Luthien Morgasa, and uh, I am the king of, you know, Carnifex. It's, and you are? It's nice to meet you. Um, I'm Azura Lozano. I'm a freelancer out of Windborne. May I ask um, your purpose in this town? Well, originally I was... I came here searching for a friend who went missing. Ah, did, um, did you end up finding him? 
I did. It was back in the mine where um your guards had to deal with that. Oh right, yeah. that was um. Mass. I you don't happen to know anything about that, do you? I mean, I fought it, but I don't know anything else. Like how it, it how it could have formed, because as yeah. far as I can tell, I they brought me back some pieces of it, and I went out and I I checked it out for a second, but. As far as I can tell, that was human bodies. Yeah, right? no. When I got there, the, the bodies were just there, and they kind of just formed together to create that thing. Well, that I is don't... that is profoundly awful, I have to say. It, it was. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm glad it's gone now, though. I don't Hopefully. know what kind of monster would come up with something like that. Gosh. Oh no. Um, but uh what did you need my uh advice for or help with or Well I've heard about your um centipede problem with the Right, yeah. Power. We're going with the running name of Electropede at the moment, but <laughs> yeah. um, so you wanted to help out with that? Yeah, I I mean there's got to be a source for them, right? They're, they're coming from something. One would assume that, yes. Uh, so, what do you plan on doing? I, do you want to find it for me, or...? Yeah, find the source and get rid of it, and then you won't have to deal with them all swarming. I mean, that would be pretty damn helpful. As far as things go, I... Hmm. Do you have anyone to go with you, or would I have to provide reinforcements to go with you? I have a friend I could talk to, but I mean, reinforcements would be helpful, because I don't know how big the source, the, like, queen or whatever would be. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, I tell you what, how about we schedule that for... Uh, this coming Wednesday, does that work for you? And I can get... I have a few guards um, who are not scheduled to be working that day, or at least they can be spared, basically. Um, okay. And who all is going with you? Just so I can... Um, or do you, do you need to ask them first? Yeah, I need to talk to them first. Interesting. Okay, um... Depending I'm on how many people, three. can we settle on hmm, something like three hundred and fifty GP? Um, if you find if you proof of together. killing it, uh, together, communally. Um, would it be most likely four of us, and that's a bit of a difficult number to split. I see. Uh, I suppose I could I could bump it up to four hundred. Okay. That could work. And that's yeah, with I proof think. of it actually, you know, being dead. Yeah. I don't want you to just go out and walk around whatever. for a little while and then, you know, come back and accept your your gold. Yeah, no, we can bring you the head of whatever of the queen, electro queen. Alright. Um, well, it is nice to meet you, and it... You'll probably notice I'm not like a lot of the kings in this region. I I try to take a very hands-on approach with my subjects, and I've gotten a lot of flack for it, you know, because, you know, what if someone assassinates me with a hidden blade in their hand? You know, that type of thing. But it's seems like the only way to run a kingdom. No, it, I mean, I the city is very nice, and it seems like you're doing your job great. Thank you. I recently inherited it as well. Oh, that's a bit sad, but you're, you're doing a good job, it seems like. Thanks. Uh, I'll see you on Wednesday then, I guess. Yes, I'll see you. <laughs> All right, and uh, the guard takes I you... Assume, I assume not real life Wednesday. <laughs> not real life Wednesday. No, no, no. <laughs> The guard takes you back to that closet um, where all of your weapons and stuff were stored, gives it back to you, and uh, as you're about to leave, the quarterstaff reforms in your hand, kind of out of thin air. Well, I need to learn how to control that, because I don't... Yeah, that's a little, uh, 
I, I, I don't know what to think of that. Oh well. I don't know either, to be honest. You didn't kill the king, and that's all I'm here for, so... <laughs> Alright, and I think That would be pretty fucking terrible. That would be pretty bad. I think that's where we'll end the session for the time being. Unless anyone else has any special things they want to do. What? Not particularly. Okay. Perfect. I'm assuming the next session then is going to be... Yeah, that works out sword. because the next session, the beginning of it was going to be shopping and then another thing and then another thing. So that being the beginning of the next session will be actually really helpful. Mm. Cool. Well, and we'll have to regroup with the fellows too to yes. inform them. <laughs> oh, actually, one more thing. As um, inform myself as well. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, also, as you guys are exiting the Capitol building, and Ghost, as you are making your way out of those uh, those uh, mining houses, you hear like the crowd go absolutely wild over in the uh, arena. Striker arena. Oh, please tell me Ka is fighting in the arena. <laughs> please. That would make my year. Y'all want to go check it out? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you um, enter towards the arena, and um, there's a dude at the front, and he's selling tickets, and then there's another guy um, off to the left of him, and he's holding this poleaxe and guarding an entrance to underneath the bleachers. Ooh, okay. Uh, tickets. Uh, tickets are just uh, ten GP today. We've got some new fighters coming in. Um, who are the new fighters? Um, I'm trying to remember their name. Hey, Bjorn, do you remember? Yeah, I remember the names. It's uh, Dare and uh, what, Lawrence? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, all right. I just, but, yeah. I just turn and look at Ghost, just like, oh fuck. Uh -oh. <laughs> my face is just like, what mess have they gotten into? I think it's just... if my, if my pale white face could get any paler, <laughs> it happened. I think it's just uh, Dare at the moment, though. He's fighting this, uh, I don't know, like this elf and this uh, little little dragon thing. I don't know. Uh. But yeah, I should probably check on Lawrence. How is he okay, or has he fought? Has he fought yet? I mean, crowd seems to be appreciating what he's doing. So, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, here, here's here's ten GP. Okay, I'll take that yeah, from you, Ghost. You since your site's being screwy. Yeah. Okay. Now who has the most money, I wonder. I need to refresh the zeros. Uh, let's see. 373 versus 317. Ah, uh, I still have the most. All no. right. So you guys it head into... It can still change. It can still change. Yeah, you just lose all your gold in betting. <laughs> I'm not making any bets. <laughs> right. Um, you guys make your way into uh, the arena, head your way up to the bleachers, and it's actually really a big place. And um, at the moment, you can see Dare, and he's down, and he's fighting these two, uh, this elf, and uh, what looks to be a kobold, but they're both wearing armor. And this elf uh, raises up their hands and casts what looks to be Ghost. You can determine this is blindness, deafness. Oh, God. And... Um, Dare, you know, clutches at his eyes for a moment and is, you know, unable to see and then gets hit with a little bit of fire from the kobold and next turn he recovers from it. He's doing pretty well. He's a, a, then uh, halfway through the fight, he roars and it absolutely terrifies this little kobold. <laughs> and then he gets in two or three more good strikes on the elf. And uh, the elf surrenders, actually. And the kobold's Good still shit. terrified I... <laughs> and just runs out. <laughs> then God of the hear... arena. <laughs> yeah, God of the arena. Then you hear this booming voice um, coming from the loudspeakers. It says, 
Champions, are you ready to fight a greater foe? And then you hear, you know, some back and forth between um, <laughs> Dare and the uh, announcer for a little bit on whether that's a good idea or not. I don't remember the exact dialogue. I'm not going to try and replicate it. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually you see another fighter who you can notice is Lawrence exit from a little uh, place. And then three giant doors open up on one of the sides of the arena. And these six foot tall cubes of uh, lo looks like a grape colored slime. Oh, the gelatinous cubes, you fucker. <laughs> And uh, they fight those for quite a while. And um, eventually, Dare does this crazy intense thing where he slams his uh, glaive all the way through one of the slimes and hits the ground. And it creates these two fissures. And oh. all of the slimes fall into those. And um, uh, they eventually get out of those holes after they like severely carve them up because it takes them forever to get out. Um, <laughs> and then after that, Dare uses his glaive. He pokes through one of them and then freezes it in the air. And the slime is basically just unable to get off and they just beat the hell out of it together. <laughs> and Lauren stuns it at the same time while it's hanging on the glaive. So just like dying. Also, Ew. the slimes seem to be able to combine themselves. So, like, um, towards the very end, two of them actually morph together into a bigger slime. <laughs> and uh, eventually, Dare and Lawrence win. And they of both course. look very, very uh, covered in slime. <laughs> and they exit the arena to the uh, crazy, crazy cheers of the crowd. Are y'all clapping? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. What? There you go. <laughs> I fucking knew they were gonna do stupid shit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they sure did. <laughs> All right, that's but damn, you discussion. pulled out the gelatinous cube, my guy. Yeah, it was actually um, the gelatinous cube. It's not just a gelatinous cube. It's called a warple, and it's something oh, I okay. made myself. But kind of, I I used the gelatinous cube stuff, but I changed it a little bit. Hmm. Um, it was like the base. Yeah, basically. And it was eventually going to be an opponent for Ka, but since we did a spinoff, I decided to test it. So. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So that'll I don't be the end of the session. Actually, I'm not going to give you any ideas. Oh, come on. I was on. literally expecting you to say, like, 